Hey folks, Mal Foran here. Welcome back to the Rise of the Habsburg campaign in Crusader Kings 3. You join me as always, exactly where we left off in the last episode. We've just finished some wars, we just gathered some more land down here in uh, Frulia, which in fact I did notice whilst uh, we were between episodes. Uh, we can actually usurp this title, so we're actually going to do that straight away before I forget. I'm going to steal his duchy title and then give it away to somebody else. And uh, yeah, what we're going to probably do today is do some more expansion of our realm. I was thinking, some people left some comments in some of the recent episodes, that uh, we should probably just claim Bohemia for ourselves, because obviously when Queen Benedicta here dies, her son is going to inherit it, and he isn't from our house because she married this guy uh, in a normal marriage for some reason, instead of, you know, in a useful way for the Habsburg. So uh, we might do that, you know, we, uh, we're not happy with the fact that she lost this title, or she's going to for our house. So we are actually going to claim title and um, get a claim on there, and then we can push this claim, and then we can either keep this title for ourselves, or we can give it away. I'm, I'm thinking we'll probably give it away. Now, the weird thing is, I don't know how this works. We'll see, is obviously we're in the HRE. I guess when we take over Bohemia, Bo Bohemia will come into the HRE as well. And then we, when we release it with one of our members in charge... It'll now be within the HRE, and um, you know one of our dynasty will be in there again. And um, if we're given the duchy, they'll also be able to vote. So they might even vote for us to be emperor, I suppose. So we'll see how it is. We 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 could keep this. Well, I'll keep the duchy of Bohemia because that does give us a vote in the HRE. But um, I don't really want to do that, if I'm honest. So we'll probably take it, give it to someone else from our house that's got the right kind of marriage, and then we'll just see what they get up to um, as they uh, as they kind of take it on on their own. They won't be our vassal because we're only a king rank, so uh, they will become independent. But uh, that's kind of what we're going for in this campaign. The, the Habsburg uh, kind of family uh, given away... Well, not given away titles, but they were famous for owning different titles but they weren't really like lieges and vassals of each other so uh, that's what we'll probably do we'll probably take it and then just give it away to somebody else and uh see how that works out for us hopefully quite well uh, we could keep it but like i said i don't think so i think if we got hungry we might keep that have the old austria hungry kind of unified titles but behemoth i think we'll give away when 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 we win it, not if we win it <laughs> because we will definitely win it uh we do hold too many duchies yes because we just made that new one down here so we'll give that away. I don't know if anyone from our house owns any of this. No. Oh wait, no, I think he is from our house, isn't he? Oh, well, he, he kind of is. He's from, uh, he made a um, a cadet branch. As you can see, he's got the, uh, the Habsburg uh, line in the top right. So I think we'll just give it to him. I know he'll have two touches, but uh, it's fine. There's no way that could backfire on us. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's just do that and uh, see how that works out for us. So uh, yeah, let's get time going. And we'll, um, yeah, carry on our adventures. A local, oh, got lots of events. A local sculpture is looking for a benefactor. A difficult, a difficult looking man demands an audience. My name is Egbert. You may have encountered my beautiful sculptures on the calaveries next to the roads of your domain. I thought you might want to become my benefactor indeed, as my name's become quite famous amongst your subjects. Both of us could benefit from this relationship. As proof of my good faith, I could create a unique and masterful sculpture of you to display wherever you wish. And then, oh yeah, and obviously we're playing as the Archduchess now in the last episode. Um, the Archduke died, so we're playing as uh, Ermengarde here. So, let's see, I've never heard of you, and, I, and you don't look very talented. I don't know, he, he looks quite talented. He looks really like Will Ferrell, if I'm honest. <laughs> looks like Will Ferrell for some reason. It sounds like a great opportunity. Oh, so he just stays in the court? So, oh, I thought it was actually going to give us like an event where he'll make a statue for us. We'll do it anyway, because we'll see. He might um, he might start a uh, a uh, inspiration uh, for one, I guess, whilst he's here. Moved by my tribulations, Count Andreas has offered me his counsel and aid on many occasions, hoping to alleviate the burden of my duties. However, Andreas' attention has incurred the ire of Prince Diopold. Andreas cannot be trusted. This is merely a ploy to exploit you. Um, he's our son, isn't he? Yeah, he's our son and heir. And he doesn't trust this guy at all. Of the Huppeldinger house. <laughs> that's a good that's a good house name, if I'm honest. Uh, I can't remember actually what our character is. Brave, gregarious, and just. I think we'd just go along with it. I will place my trust in those who deserve it. 
Oh, wait, no, we don't want our heir to be our rival. No, we don't want to do that. We'll do this uh, di diplomacy challenge. Can the three of us find common ground? 77% chance to be successful, so... Yes, it worked. Okay, nice. Yeah, we didn't want our uh, heir as a rival. That would be uh, crazy. And then, yeah, we'll build up some money. Once we've got a little bit more, we'll, we'll go to war for Bohemia. And uh, bring that into the house. Well, keep it in the house, even. So we definitely don't want to lose this. The local sculpture is quite talented. Oh, so we did make something. Egbert came back with a product of his labour. You inspect the statue from head to toe. This is obviously a saint, maybe a bishop, but you don't dare to ask him. The sculpt is sharp with beautiful curves and lines. It will surely impress your court, and the local sculpture will peddle his name uh, alongside his humble but honest art. So we've got the effigy of a saint. 0.6 piety a month? That's not too bad, actually. So we became that, he leaves. So he just comes in, makes something, and then leaves. And we got 75 prestige. Well, we'll, we'll put that on display, because that was, that was quite nice, actually. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, we'll have it in here as people walk in. Oh, it's smaller than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I thought it was going to be uh, like a like quite a large thing. That's actually pretty cool. It's got like the patinaed um, staff, and then obviously doing the, the symbol as well. That's actually quite nice. Okay, well, I'm happy enough with that. Didn't really cost us a lot of money either, so... Cannot complain, if I'm honest. Um, what we might do, actually, as well, is... I increase one of these. What are we at? Two out of eight. Two out of eight. I think these are all at two out of eight. Yeah, they are. Um, no, do you know what? Actually, we won't. We won't. We'll, we'll, we'll do this war first. How many troops have they got? 8,000? Well, they've actually got more troops than us. <laughs> okay. Well... Let's see how this goes. 12,000. Who who can we call in? We can call in France. Is France at war with somebody, though? Oh, they're not. Yeah, we should do this then. I imagine they'll help us. She's got some money. Joe, let's just do it. Let's just do it. What's the worst that could happen? We can lose to her. We can ransom Vic... What's his name? Victor Von Claw. <laughs> Get out of here. Calling that dynasty members. We're not going to do that. We're going to call in France. It's going to cost us a lot of uh, prestige, but it's worth it. We're not going to call in you because I don't think you have much troops. Oh, you have 2,000 actually. Though you are a war. Well, yeah, you're defending in a war, so you're probably not going to help us. We're going to call in Jerusalem. It would be free to do so, so I suppose why not? They are at war with somebody else at the moment. But, you know, it's free to do this, so we might as well do this. Call in Bohemia. We can actually call in one of our vassals. We can't. He'll, he'll say no. Yeah, these are free. So we can call in Hungary as well? Oh, nice. Well, there we go. We've got Hungary to come help us, so we're, that's going to be more than enough, to be honest, for us to uh, for us to achieve this. And then we're going to get this claim on uh, Ho Hoenu, and we'll, uh, we'll steal that. This is in our home duchy, so we're kind of trying to get those last little counties and stuff like that for within our direct... Um, direct... Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Duchy. I don't know why I totally forgot that today. There we go. Oh, yeah, we need to raise our army. I'm not having a good start. There we go. Let's go. A liar's pay. I was shocked when I caught um, Ermengarde. Is that, is that our daughter? Yes. Okay, so she she become Ermengarde the second. Trying to steal from the travel chest of the visiting Mayor Egbert. She blamed a game another child had invented, but I could tell she was lying. Is she deceitful? Well, she is deceitful. Come, you have to learn to get away with your lies. <laughs> so you basically say, oh, well, nice, but uh, you got caught. Let's let's teach you not to get caught. Be honest. Or uh, become humble. Mm, we don't really want her to be deceitful. It is a sin. I don't think she's our... No, she's not our, um, our heir, so I don't suppose it really matters that much. We're getting stressed, though, from wanting to change someone, which we don't like to do. But I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah, because we can give her a virtue instead of a, a sin. And then, yeah, our heir is... Oh, yeah, the guy... Yeah, we were just looking at him before, this guy. So, yeah, he's our heir when we do end up uh, passing on from this world. And he's um, betrothed to... Yeah, I think she's, like, the, the daughter of... Uh, yeah, daughter of the King of Aragon. 
and her brother is the king of, well, the emperor of France, so. Right, let's get going. Why is there only this many? I thought they had way more troops than that, but. They got a... <laughs> oh! Defending against you and the Austrian claim of the King of Bohemia. Oh, but what's this one? Oh, it's help she's helping in a war for Norway. Oh, that must be where the rest of her troops are. And she also has a Liberty War happening that she's helping in as well. So, yeah, she's just... I bet her army's up here in Norway somewhere, helping in all these wars. Yeah, I think they're over here, aren't they? Bohemia, yeah. So most of the troops are actually in Norway at the moment. So, yeah, we should get some of this sieging going. And we can probably uh, make some make some gains pretty quickly here. And we'll also have France coming to help us as well. Rise of the Mongols. Word has reached me that a new leader has arisen among the barbarian tribes of the distant steppes. This Kengan Temujin has declared himself the ruler of the universe, Genghis Khan, and has sworn to conquer the entire world. So we'll see how uh, we'll see how these these do this time round. Thirty three Marshall. Yeah, let's we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. That I doubt they'll reach us, but you never know. Right, we'll see how this goes. So, yeah, even with our army raised, we're still making money. Uh, we're making 1.7 gold, but we've got an inspiration here. Asta Ot data von Orland has a weave inspiration. She wants to weave something glorious. She's very competent. Well, let's do it. How much is it? 50 gold? That's actually less than I thought it was going to be. Inspiration funded. Thank you for putting your trust in me, my lady. Asta smiles and continues. Your confidence is not misplaced, but I have spent many years practicing my techniques and woven some truly wonderful rugs and drapes. For you, though, I think a tapestry would be best. A well-woven one can really command the attention of the room and say something about its owner. The only question is, what should the tapestry show? Something that shows the history of the Archduchy or a representation of what life is like? Um... I want to do this, the history of the Archduchy. <laughs> so we're not we're not that old, so it'd be kind of interesting to see what, what happened. So we'll, we'll finish one of these sieges, and then we'll fight their army, and then the, the other army will probably just siege down some more of this stuff. We could have come round and just immediately siege their capital, but uh, yeah, here comes France. Uh, 16,000 troops, and here comes uh, Hungary. I don't know why... Oh yeah, their capital's down here. I always forget that. And yeah, Hungary's here, but their capital is here, so... That's where the that's why their troops have come from the west. Wounded, my injured daughter. Time has come to treat your daughter. Since the wound is infected, we must recommend drastic measures. Oh yeah, she's brutally mauled. How did that happen? She's broken and clinging to life. Dear. Yeah, she's near death. Infected wound and brutally mauled. I guess some kind of event happened to her. Um, it's too late to be cautious. Yeah, just do whatever you can. Disastrous. Oh, she's died. As I near my daughter Christine's chambers, I hear a horrifying scream, barely human and full of pain. I burst into the room, only find Christine collapsed in a heap on the floor, covered in blood. The gutless physician is standing in the corner of the room, anxiously wringing his hands. Yeah, you're dying. <laughs> He's craven. He certainly is craven. This will not happen again. Do you understand me? Gets chast chastised physicians. So oh, he actually gains learning, so. We all knew the risk, you are forgiven. Guard, put him with a lock and key. Uh, we are just so actually, we don't like to do this. If we were a cruel character or something like that, we definitely would have done these. But uh, we'll just do this top one, I guess. He'll, he'll, he'll become better at learning, so. He'll do better in the future. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, Bohemia's actually brought their army now, so. They obviously came back from uh, from Norway. Let's try getting this fight and help them. Oh yeah, here comes the rest. Ten, uh, Eight thousand? Jeez, okay. Inspiration, flawed jewel. Distracted by affairs of the court, I let news of my weaver Asta be delayed more and more. Now work is completely stalled on my tapestry and it seems I am not entirely to blame. I am told of Asta's de debilitating affliction which leaves a bedridden and no humour for work. At last, I demand that she be brought before me. So she's ill? Yeah, she's ill. She's a f <laughs> she's a strong fornicator, though. Okay. See, uh, see to it that things get back on track, so we give her some more gold. You know what you're doing best. We just let her basically decide. It'd better be a masterpiece, and soon. 
but we don't like doing that. Oh no, she gains critical stress. It kind of pushes the progress further. There's a chance she'll basically die. And then this one, which we don't like to do because we're just so. Um, let's do this one. We'll just give us some more gold. Struggle to the death. Today I'm witnessing the execution of a heinous murderer who killed many in Krems. The man's guilt is assured without a doubt, and many are happy to see him die. Before he is caught, my officials could not catch this criminal, however. He made a mistake when he murdered an old man who turned out to be the veteran of many battles. The old soldier put up a good struggle after being assailed by the murderer's weapon, and he managed to maim the criminal before he perished. Thanks to this, the local guard has been able to track the vile man down and make an arrest. It's a pity the old veteran died, but his death was not in vain. As thanks to him, our struggle to find the criminal has ended. The death of the murdered victim will be avenged. Or, oh, how sad. <laughs> this is going, oh, that is pretty sad. I'm going to do this one though, we're just, so we, we, we want to do this. Popular opinion plus four, yeah. You kill one of our veterans, you're definitely dying. Oh, you need to run away because you're going to get uh, attacked by these chaps. With suspicion, I took Christine out to play with a bow. Isn't she like... <laughs> She's like brutally mauled. And we're like, let's go out and do some practice. She later lashed out at me, having <laughs> thinking I staged the whole encounter as some kind of test. Well, yeah, I mean, it's pretty harsh to uh, to drag her out of bed to, to do this. It was certainly a test. Well done. So, <laughs> so she keeps paranoid because we're like, yeah, you're right to be paranoid. We, we totally lie. Don't be too mad at us. Quimar the Liar arrives. I've heard that the most unusual traveller has travelled has arrived in this region. He's known as Quimar the Liar, and many claim he possesses unrivaled, unparalleled wisdom, even if some of his advice often refers to bizarre topics or make little sense at times. Oddly though, my claim Oddly though, many claim he is immensely famous, and I've never even heard of him. Still, given Given he is known for his insights, perhaps I should pay him a visit sometime. Who knows what deep intellectual subjects we might discuss. Even if he is a madman, maybe I could learn a thing or two. Then again, there are those who say I shouldn't associate with those who refer to strange things. I'll mull it over. So we can actually go visit him. There's a decision to do that. But I think we'll do this war first. And then we'll uh, worry about <laughs> visiting strange people. All right, let's get in here. Hopefully we can win this fight. Yeah, there we go. She died. <laughs> so on her deathbed, we were like, let's go hunting. And then we brought her back. She just died immediately. So good parenting, I guess. <laughs> Could have gone better. Could definitely have gone better. Yeah, I want to try win this fight. Oh, we're definitely going to win it because everyone's got there. And then we've basically crushed their army. And the rest of this war should be easy. Inspiration, a considered opinion. My weaver, Asta, updates me on her progress, droning on about the limits of Shuttle and Loom. So my mind reels with bold ideas for my tapestry. Weaving well, may not be my personal forte, that doesn't mean I don't have a say on how my money should be spent. So we have a, f a few suggestions, but this is against our... Um, um, actually, I, do you know what? I don't know why we are getting stress from this. Why would we get stress from this? I guess because we're... Actually, I have no idea why. <laughs> I guess you, I guess you just generally get stressed from that. My background gives me some unique, uh, unique insights, so we can use our martial skill. I guess tell her like how it works better or something like that, or we can just say, ah, you, you know what you're doing. Well, we're going to do this one because this is happening because we have uh, a martial focus. So let's do that. Oh, our ideas work well. So there you go. Wow, we're getting a lot of events. I patch veteran. Today I'm meeting some lower ranking officers who command my troops on the battlefield. There's one officer in particular that who I find interesting. This fellow is somewhat old and most noticeably wears an eye patch. After I ask about how the eye patch came to be, I am treating to some long winded but fascinating stories about how my officer got the eye patch, what happened to their covered eye, their experiences to fighting with, un with only one good eye and so on. The officer's ramblings drag on for quite a while however, and I do need to continue my inspection. No, no, I want to listen. Uh, this gives us a buff that's uh, plus one martial and 3% more martial lifestyle experience. Or true, we need to get back to business. We're brave. I don't know why it affects brave, to be honest. <laughs> it's not exactly um, going against brave to, like, leave. <laughs> and I'm not, sure how, I'm not sure how that works, but you know, let's do the top one anyway. I would have I thought that would work better with Gregarious, because you're, like, you know, sitting around listening to stories. And you don't want to leave, so you get a critical stress from going against your gregarious manner, but uh, nope. 
That's that's not how it works. Right, let's uh, let's keep sieging some of this down. Oh, actually, they kept. Oh, hello. Oh, Jerusalem arrived. Nice. <laughs> I love it. Uh, by right, my vassal is a form of an obscure law in the county of Freidstad, which starts, uh, which states that none but the Archduchess may be its protector. Normally, such an archaic law would be dismissed, but it offers me a unique chance to put Count Gernbern, my vassal and current ruler of the county, in his place. Um, do we want to do that? I don't really. You get an unpressed claim. Nah, we'll just say. Nah, never. Don't worry about that. We we. We're not going to uphold that. Uh, would our daughter come visit? Um, sure. So yeah, we're at uh, 48%, so we should win this uh, pretty easily. Young love, I idly sit at court one day when I see one of my young servants staring across the hall at one of my maids for far too long. She notices and looks at him, confused. He immediately jerks his head away, embarrassed, awkwardly avoiding her gaze. It's old news that he finds her attractive, but hasn't worked up the courage to tell her. Meanwhile, though she's a smart girl who finds him agreeable, she's too absent-minded and oblivious to know any better. He will find the courage soon, or she a brain. They'll work it out. <laughs> Silly boy and girl, such fanciful, stupid, fleeting feelings. Or, ah, to be young again. How I missed it. Who knows what will happen. Um, <laughs> do I don't know which one to do. We'll just do this bottom one. Why not? Yeah, it looks like these are like just avoiding us now. There's so many troops. I think they're going to try work their way around to our capital, maybe. So we'll keep an eye on it, but we should be fine. Inspiration, a name to remember. My beneficiary, Asta, approaches me through a f with a thoughtful expression. Is there anyone special to you, my lady? So we're doing this one where we can choose who to kind of dedicate the uh, the artifact to. So there is our uh, husband. Yeah, our husband and knight. Wait, isn't he dead? I can't remember. No, he's alive. <laughs> it looks like he's got this. Oh, no, that's because of our daughter who died. In memory of Christine, to the Lord, or oh, there's no need. Just um, let's put dedication to our to our dead daughter that we uh, we took hunting. Just give us seventy five renown, which is pretty good actually. To be fair, a shiny find. While strolling outside one day, I stopped to relieve myself. Okay, as I finish, I notice a bit of gleaming on the ground. Careful not to step on my own urine, I move the move towards the shiny object and realize that it is a gold coin. You gain. One gold coin. <laughs> I do like these events. They're from a mod. Um, I can't remember the name of it exactly, but uh, it's just a bunch of events and cool, and cool culture events and things like that. So, um, yeah, the, the events are pretty funny, to be honest. If I remember, I'll put a link to it in the description down below. But uh, it's like the it's the biggest one on the workshop for events. Uh, yeah, 54%. If we siege down the capital, we should basically win this. Inspiration realized. Here, In here, my lady. My beneficiary asks her gestures to the door with her weavery, where she's been toiling for months on my commission. Stepping through the doorway, I gasp as I gaze upon the work hanging in front of me. A large lamb, lamb's wool tapestry of excellent craftsmanship. The cloth depicts the founding of the Archduchy of Austria and other major historical events leading up to the reign of Archduchess Ermengarde. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. It's a shame it's called our dynasty name and not uh, Von Habsburg Tapestry, but that's kind of how it's how it's going to work with our dynasty name. Gives us short reign duration minus 16%, which is not too bad, actually, and plus three court grandeur. Yeah, that's all right. It's not amazing, but I think we have space to hang it. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so we can put it on the wall here. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's actually pretty... Pretty good. Should we move it somewhere else? I kind of feel like putting it behind us, although we've got the, the Habsburg house banner behind us. Maybe we should... Can we um, move this? Yeah, there we go. Now let's get rid of these. I wonder whether to put the tapestry behind us. Yeah, why not? Look at it. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> it's, it's like the Bayou tapestry, basically. You can see all the... Uh, kind of looks like he's got a gun there, but it, it's a sword and a sheet. Yeah, let's put this behind us. It looks pretty nice, to be honest. And then we'll put the house banner here. 
and then we'll put the dynasty barrier uh dynasty banner over here next to the fire so yeah that looks pretty cool not too bad at all got some nice artifacts to be honest uh no it's the wrong button there we go right i'm gonna bring these back to our capital just in case they get any ideas of coming to attack us i mean we won't hold out for long but well, it looks like hungary is leaving are they at war with somebody else oh they are uh slavonia declared war for the county of uh blatten zero here so yeah i guess that's taken hungary out of our war oh you're gonna get caught out ah, you are a bit well anyway we got jerusalem next to us Oh no, it's not going to work though. <laughs> it's not going to work. We're going to get absolutely uh, mauled down here. But here comes France, but they're not going to reach us in time. No, they didn't. They We uh, we did quite badly there. No, no France, come back down. <laughs> we, we're so close to sieging down their capital. How long is this going to take? 16 months. Oh, it's going to take ages. Oh, we did upgrade our castle actually, didn't we? Good job we did that, to be honest. So yeah, we have a fort, uh, fort level 13. So yeah, we can actually finish sieging this down and then head head uh, head back. To whom it may concern, I have enclosed the incriminating documents. Let me reiterate, you are not to speak of this to anyone, not even my liege. Kaiser Depolt is aware that these exist and it must stay that way. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to receive this. <laughs> oh, so we just found out something to do with the Kaiser? It'd be hilarious if it's something really good. We spent all that time um, trying to get one, and then we just had an event where somebody just gave us a secret. Yeah, Mahad de Zura is actually the Ill illegitimate child of the Kaisers. Can we blackmail her, or to blackmail him? Oh no, we blackmail her. I'm just going to expose it. <laughs> expose the secret. Just because people aren't going to like the Kaiser as much, so... Why not? Call to war. Well, France is calling us to war. Um, oh, they're allied with England as well. It looks like they've got a... Oh, disillusion war. Okay. Yeah, we definitely want to stop that. There you go. She's just swearing fealty to us. Yeah, we want to stop this because... Although... You know, a smaller France would probably do us quite well. Um, we don't want this land. So we might as well keep them strong, especially as an ally. Oh, we captured the Queen. That's why the war ended. Um, yeah, we want to keep them strong, at least for now, because the only land that we kind of want to take from them that, with regards to the Habsburgs is probably uh, Spain. Like I said in the previous episodes, we're, we're going to try to get Spain, but it's going to be pretty difficult for us to do so. So, uh, yeah, we probably want to keep France as one uh, empire, so we can have them as an ally. And then we might have to fight them later, but that'll be fine. But, um, yeah, we might go help in that if we need to. But anyway, we finished this war. We captured her, so the war just finished. Force our demands, so we're going to steal Bohemia, so it's going to become part of the HRE. And then, yeah, like I say, are well, we going to give it away to somebody? I know probably people in the comments will be uh, <laughs> will get mad that we're going to give it away, but... Um, that's uh, that's what we're going to do. We don't want to be keeping too many titles. And like I say, I'd rather keep ones that kind of historically uh, made more sense. I'm sure somebody will say Bohemia was owned by the uh, by the Habsburgs, maybe. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it, I'm pretty sure it wasn't. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that in a second. Going to give it away to someone. We're just going to ransom off all these people. And, uh, yeah, give it away. Because it, it does help us with renown as well. We got more renown. Um, if we have lead, uh, we, if we have rulers from our house in charge of other areas, so uh, yeah, if we have another king, it basically gives us another 1.5 uh, renown a month, which is not too bad. So uh, yeah, oh, we can actually steal some things, I guess maybe. Bavarian spear. Is this good? Plus five prowess, plus three knight effectiveness. Oh, it's the same, but I kind of want to use the Bavarian spear. Kind of like showing off that we've stolen things. <laughs> so we've, uh, yeah, on our adventures we got this uh, Bavarian spear, so we're going to show it off in court. We didn't gain anything else, I don't think. Not really. I think we gained a trinket, maybe. Yeah, this beautiful rolling hoop. Yeah, probably not worth it. And let's just see. We might have got. Oh, 
Did we? Oh no, I thought this were all new things, but no. There are all the things that are already up there, I think. Actually, no, Falco's statue? I don't think we have that on display. No, we don't. We have a bunch of new things, so we'll probably try to keep these. So we've got the, uh, the prem premise lid annals or the Swabian Art of Strategy, which gives us 0.1 prestige a month. 20% more martial lifestyle experience? That is insane. Let's get that on display. <laughs> That's crazy. Right, and then we'll, I guess we'll put this one on here. We have two books on the left. This book's massive. It's nice. And then we've got something else here. We've got the Sword of God. <laughs> okay. Didn't think we'd have the Sword of God. So uh, that's pretty good. Gives us prestige per dread. I mean, it's, it's not much, to be honest. It gives us 0.1 renown a month, though. It's not too bad. 15 natural dread. And court grandeur bonus plus four. The natural dread's pretty good, actually. And it's a illustrious pedestal item. So we've, got, we've just got a bunch of weapons. And then an effigy of a saint. <laughs> Um, could put this jewelry casket there instead. Nah, do you know what? Oh, actually, have we got this Hungarian battle axe? Yeah, there we go. We'll just have loads of weapons. So you have to walk past the weapons to see us. <laughs> I think that works out quite well for us. It's not that good, but uh, I think it looks kind of cool with all the weapons here in the middle. Then we've got something for these wall ornaments. Hide of the mighty fox of Gakko. Okay, this is a this is a reward from doing hunting. You can actually get these if you do really well in the hunts. So 0.2 month prestige, 0.16 renown. This is awesome. Yeah, let's get that on the wall. <laughs> you can barely see it. It kind of merges with our background. But uh, actually, do you know what? I might put it on the wall over here. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't look that cool for here. We'll get something nicer. But um, yeah, not too bad then. Yeah, we stole a bunch of stuff from there. Um, and we're not going to give it back. So we'll put it in place because I guess it doesn't give it to the next person. So... Right, the King Bohemia, what special lore have you got? Oh, you got Primogenitus. Move law, succession, so it will no longer have its own su title succession. I mean, it doesn't, no, we actually want to keep it with Primogenitus. So, um, yeah, let's grant this out to someone, though. We'll give it to... Oh, we basically want someone from our house who isn't already landed. I'm not sure if we're actually going to have anyone. This guy, Prince Wolfram. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, he's the Count of Doodleby. Oh, good old Doodleby's back. <laughs> and here's a claim on Hungary. So, Joe, you know, that's not the worst. I know he has a claim. Oh, no, no. Doodleby is in uh, Bohemia. Oh, let's give it to this guy, then. He has no children. Who's his heir? Oh, it is someone else from our house. Joe, you know, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's give it to him. Yeah, you can have the Kingdom of Bohemia. He will no longer be our vassal, but that's fine. Like I say, that's kind of what we're playing. Oh, that didn't work out. <laughs> well, that didn't go how I wanted it to. Oh, we can't give him the rest? Oh, I missed, I've missed that up. I totally messed that up then. <laughs> oh, I thought it'd give him this. I guess I didn't click the right thing. Um, okay, well, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that's, that's how it's going to look. It's quite surprising. If they're from your house, I would have thought you'd be able to give them land and just say, yeah, have this. Um, well, there you go, guys. You know, I I messed that up a little bit, but, uh, it, you know, everything can't be perfect. <laughs> anyway, yes, we've got this. So um, I guess serve the crown. We'll have 30 natural dread if we pick that up. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. I think. Chef 30 Dread. Where's Dread? Is it here? Oh, I guess it hasn't gone up yet. So, Sword of God, 15. So why is it 3.5? If we've got the Sword of God, plus 15, and Serve the Crown, plus 15, why is our Dread 3.5? Oh, monthly change, below natural Dread. Oh, it's because, yeah, it's going up. I, I didn't... Do you know, I've never actually put that together in my head, that, yeah, the natural Dread's 15. So, like most other things work to get you to 15 it won't just make you 15 dread so yeah that's going to increase as we continue time and uh yeah i guess um <laughs> oh dear so she's now under under our control i mean i guess it works we could claim this title offer as well i don't really want to do that sure i'll just leave it be for now we might tidy that up in the future but i'm i'm too embarrassed by it so 
we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it how it is for now anyway um yeah so we we uh, i think we've gone all of these now oh no amarilli spheres uh we'll match this actually because only four years it's done and then we've got all of the um early medieval ones done and then we'll come through and see what our exposure changes to here if we have one i th i don't think we're too far ahead so i imagine one of these will become an exposure for us and hopefully it's a good one to be fair none of them are that bad i'll, I'll be happy with any of them to be honest right let's uh should we ask you for some gold yeah why not <laughs> at least when we zoom out it doesn't look horrendous it just looks horrendous like this so uh yeah we'll um we'll fix that i mean the only way we could fix it is by literally taking this title back off yeah uh, literally taking the title back off him and then doing it again which um I don't want to do so we're gonna leave it is how it is i mean it does help us like i said we're still gonna get that um that modifier here because we've got a uh, the king of bohemia now under our control oh it's actually less it's 0 0.1 why is jerusalem so much more oh because her court grandeur is so high that's why oh i didn't realize court grandeur affected this interesting okay so if it increases in court grandeur it actually increases that as well so uh, well, that's nice to know Oh yeah, anyway, we've got so much money. I wanted to invest it in um in our lands here. Our domain. Have we got anything we can build? Yeah, we can build this. Krems, we can upgrade this. I'm just gonna basically spend all this money. So we can have some better stuff in the future. But anyway, guys, we're gonna leave it there for today. We've been going the usual, I like I say, about the usual time that we usually go for these episodes. And um yeah, we might go help in this disillusion war. We get some prestige and stuff like that from helping him, so I kind of feel like we might uh, we might do that. Gothia, Luxembourg. Yeah, we might go help in this. At least we'll take some of our army. And then uh, the other thing that we have is this Kentish War. We don't care about this. This is the, the Emperor uh, defending this tiny bit of island, which I don't really care about, so <laughs> we're going to leave him doing that. And then in the next episode, we'll, we'll see where else we can go to. We could come down and try to take Lombardy. Get a claim off the Pope? No, he doesn't dislike him enough. Or come down and start heading into Croatia again. Um, I don't think we can get a claim on this. Oh no, he is Catholic. No, he really doesn't want us to attack him. So, um, so yeah, we'll we'll think about it. There's a lot of things we can do. We can try uh, coming back up here, try to get some land in Holland, um, or down here in Naples and uh, try expanding down in that direction. I think the easiest way for us to do that, though, would ha we'd have to probably... Uh, maybe... Ooh, even no. Could we attack you? No, not really. See, he's, got so, <laughs> he's got so much land and no troops. Can we get a claim on you? He's not a, like a deviant, though, or anything like that, so I doubt the Pope will give us a claim. No. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at it next episode where we're going to head out and down to. I think uh, the south of Italy is probably our best bet for our kind of Habsburg lands that we're going to capture next. And then the Netherlands and then into Spain, I think. And then Hungary we are going to work on as well. But someone from our house already owns this, so we're going to leave it independent for now. And then like Bohemia, if they lose this land or look like they're going to then we'll take it under our wing at that point. Or we'll try and inherit it. We probably will marry. Actually, saying that, yeah, we should probably try and marry. Wait, why is he not your heir? Why is it this guy? Baron Franz of Benchmark. Why is it him? Why is it not you? Is it like elective? Oh, it's house seniority. What? <laughs> why is it house seniority? That's just bad. <laughs> why would you do that? Well, that's annoying. I mean, it, I mean, it, it will keep it within our house, but it's just going to mean like old people are just going to continuously inherit it. I don't know why this is house seniority. He must have changed it, or I guess actually no, I don't think a faction can force this on. So yeah, I guess he just changed it for some reason. So yeah, we might take this back under our control and then give it out again. Uh, like we did Bohemia, but do it correctly this time and not make it look stupid. So uh, anyway, that'll be the plan for there. Uh, that is how the world looks, but uh, as always, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. It helps other people find the channel and the episodes in the future. And if it's your first time here, this is your first video. I play Crusader Kings and other strategy games on the title. I cover the dev diaries and all that good stuff. So if that's your kind of thing, 
you know what to do. But uh, we're going to leave it there for today. And I'll see you in the next one.